And welcome back. We are here with a returning artist from the Fresh Gallery here in Springfield. Say hello to artist and member of Fresh Gallery, John Talia Farrell. John, how are you? I'm fine. You? Pretty good. We're happy to see you, the, you and this. Yeah. This is an incredible piece. Thank you. So you do all woodworking, is that correct? Or do you have other forms of art that you do? I have a machine shop. Okay. I make the front and back to the Andes ice cream machines. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I have an Andes on the way that's home. That's something I didn't <laughs> know about you. Yeah. So can you tell us about this piece though here? It's walnut and it's holy. <laughs> yeah, it is. There's multiple holes across, yes. Um, it was just a pretty yeah. piece of wood that I couldn't see throwing away because it had a hole in it. Mm -hmm. So what's the process look like in creating this? Because when I see wood, it doesn't look like this to me. No, same. <laughs> Grab a big log and mount it on the lathe and then take the bark off and, and you can kind of see what you've got. Mm -hmm. About how long does that yeah. process take you? Like what is, like from start to finish, what is That's the process and how long does it take? Yeah. Depends on the piece. Because I can only work, you know, sometimes a few hours or a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's so a. I've never kept track of my time. Yeah. But like, I mean, since you come back to it and you leave it and come back to yeah. it, like how, like, was it months that it took you to do this? No, weeks. Oh. Okay. You're so a lot quicker, as as you think. Than, yeah. yeah, than yeah. I would think, yeah. And so I'm also very curious, like, how do you round it out? I mean, is that all machine done or? Um, no, it's, um, oh, it's done with tools, but uh -huh. by hand. But okay. you're running them, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So it's very hand even. Hand-powered tools. Yeah, but it's like so even that it's really quite, remarkable that you can do that. <laughs> then you grind it smooth. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How thick is that? In sand and it's only it's about probably half an inch. Half inch. Okay. Now how does uh -huh. like I'm curious because of like how large this is, mm -hmm. how does the inspiration for something like this come about? Like do you think, okay, I want to make something like this and then you find the wood or do you see the wood and you're like, okay, let me think of what I could do with that. Yeah. <laughs> Both? Both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what other things do you make out of wood? Um, taller pieces. Taller? Yeah. But just like whatever, kind of abstract. Whatever like the this. piece of wood is, yeah. Uh-huh. How what's your biggest piece that you've done? Ooh. Um, it's probably Oh my Six goodness. and a half feet or so. Oh wow. That is incredible. Seven. And this, I looked at it and I thought it looked so heavy, but we scooted around yeah, like, but it wow, was because it's more. hollow. It's yeah. a lot more lightweight than I expected. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't lift it if it was, wasn't was hollow. That is very true. <laughs> so where can we find all of your work? At Fresh Gallery, Fresh north Gallery. of Boonville. All yeah. right. North yeah. on Boonville, okay. the square. Well, we appreciate you coming in yeah. and showing us this we beautiful do, um, piece. Art in the Park, Secreota Park, not in October also. Okay. That's the only two shows I do. We'll okay. catch up with you things. on that. Yeah. That'll be fun. Very yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. All right, John. <laughs> All right, coming up, we'll check back in with Tom and some folks that will help you get your barbecue game on point. That's right. Lots more Ozarks live to come, so don't go away.